and a big reason why I wanted to save this video from when I was ready to film it is because I do not want to seem like I'm coming off as trying to persuade people to not do nursing because in this world as we've seen nurses are so 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 essential and important and even without the pandemic like they just they literally change people's lives Okay, you can't see me. That's a great start. All right, all right, all right. Okay, just now I'm picking my wedge on camera. So, I changed my major. Basically, I never really explained my before, like my college plan and my career goals. So basically, why I was majoring nursing was because I wanted to become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, and I wanted to not necessarily be like a nurse in the hospital, but I really wanted to be essentially like a therapist, but I could also prescribe medicine and stuff like that to my patients. So that's why I went the nursing like medical route other than like just like the psychology focused route. I go to community college. So in my state in Maryland, it's like a really popular thing to go to community college for two years and then you seamlessly transfer off into a four year university in Maryland or wherever you really want to go. It saves a lot of money That's that way. That's the main reason why I did it. I really wanted to go off to college after I graduated high school, but I just knew it would save more money in the long run if I stayed home. I could work for two years and like kind of get my money up. Community college is way cheaper than going to a four year, which I mean, obviously I feel like people know that, but not, just in case you guys don't know that. So that was my plan. My plan was to do two years at community college, transfer to a two year nursing program to get my BSN. And then I wanted to get my master's and then get my nurse practitioner degree and then get my like psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner certification and that's how i was going to become what i wanted to be and that was going to be like a whole six year process and i was fine with doing that but like as i kind of was in community college like after i graduated high school i started taking the college classes and i've always been interested in science science was never like it wasn't my favorite subject but it was the subject that i was the most like curious like i enjoyed biology i enjoyed chemistry to a point then i kind of got hard and like the math involved it's just like nah i really did enjoy the information that i learned in pre-nursing however once corona hit and once i started taking anatomy and physiology too is kind of where i started to lose kind of like that touch for wanting to go into like the medical field in like a nursing sense if that makes any sense basically what like triggered me to change my major was that i was failing anatomy and physiology too which if you guys know about a and p or human biology or like any of those courses like that uh, I know some places it's physiology and anatomy are like separate but at my community college they're like together and basically that course is just extremely content heavy and I did fine in A&P 1 I ended with like a high B but A&P 2 was just like not like I was just not I don't know what really it was I don't know if it was because that was this past fall semester where we were completely online um and the way my classes were structured we never had like meetings or anything like that. We literally were just given PowerPoints and we were given lectures to watch. We just took exams. So like literally how it would work, we start a module. It would be, you have to watch the lecture, go through the PowerPoints, and then the only other thing we were given was a lab quiz, which was like 10 points, and then we're given an exam. And that was it. That was all that was in the grade book. 10 exams, 10 lab quizzes. That was it. No extra credit, no homework assignments, no anything else. It was, our grade was completely on tests and exams. I am not really, I don't really do well with testing because I like to second guess myself and I like reread things and I just like, t I just, it's just not, my brain is not a testing brain. My brain is more like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, I think you know what I'm trying to say. So basically it was about... A month before the semester ended and me and my friend Alex were talking, which if you guys watch my videos, you know Alex, lol. We were both talking about how we weren't very happy with our grade and stuff like that. Um, actually, like a month before that, I reached out. So about halfway through the semester, I reached out to my professor and I was like, hey, professor, like I'm doing a lot of studying. I'm really putting hard work into this class and I feel like my exam grades are not accurately reflecting how I feel about this content. Like, what are some things I could do? Like, do I need to start studying differently? Whatever. Basically, he wrote me back, which I love my professor. Like, don't get me wrong. He was an awesome guy. He was super smart. He was like a veterinarian and he had all this knowledge about not only like the human body, but the animal bodies. And he was just like a really smart person. He was really nice, really cool. I loved him nothing against the professor it's not his fault but I emailed him about all of that and he was like okay like let me send you a st another student's email so you can talk to him because he could probably really help you better than I could and I was like okay sure like true because I mean if you think about it my professor he was an older man and he hadn't really been studying or anything 
for a long time because he just kind of knows the material because he's you know still like a veterinarian like and has all these other degrees so like obviously he just like he hasn't studied for anything in a long time i'm assuming so he sent me the guy's email and i emailed that guy and I was like, hey, like, I've been putting my best foot forward in this class, but, like, you know, my grades aren't reflecting how I feel about knowing the content. Like, is there any advice you can give me, ways to study? Guys, like, I looked up all of these YouTube videos on, like, how to pass A&P, how to get an A and A&P, because YouTube is just, like, a resource for literally everything. Um, and I especially watched, like, nursing students say, like, and everybody just said that A&P is such a hard class. And I was like, okay, like, it's hard. And in high school, I was always, like, a straight-A student. I mean, I had a couple Bs here and there. But, like, I was always very, like, driven education. I don't know if you guys watch those TikToks that are, like, the gifted kid. I feel like being labeled a gifted kid in elementary school just, like, set my mind up to be kind of, like, a perfectionist when I came to school. Which is not good to have that mindset. Like, it's good because you get good grades. But it's just, like, the way that you think about grades and, like, associating it with self-worth. Self-worth is, like, this whole thing that I just... Ah, it started a bad habit in my mind. And... When I looked at my grade at a &P, so I emailed that guy and he never emailed me back. He didn't email me back until literally like a month later. The semester was like, there's only three weeks in the semester left. I couldn't even drop the class anymore because it was past like the last withdrawal day. So I was sitting there and I was like, bro, I'm literally screwed. There is no way that I'm going to get my grade. Like I'll share my grade. I literally had like a, I had a 70. And for nursing schools, the ones I was going to apply to, it's just, it. every nursing school is different. There are qualifications, like, prerequisite qual qualifications. So, like, don't base what I'm telling you, like, off of, like, how it's going to be everywhere because it's different everywhere. But for all the nursing schools that I wanted to go to, you had to have at least a C or above in all of your classes. So, I realized about three weeks out from the semester ending, I had a 70. I still had two more exams and I had the final and the final was literally half of a grade like so for me to keep my C I would have had to get a hundred percent on the next two exams and a, literally in a hundred on the final and listen I'm not trying to sound like a pessimist I'm not trying to say that I didn't believe in myself but it comes to a point especially in a class like that where you have to be realistic and when I literally tell you I failed the exams previous to that moment when I realized that like I had to like pass the next ones I was like there's honestly like no way because the content just keeps getting more in depth harder harder you build off of what you learn for the next chapters and stuff like that so like it's just a continual learning thing and I was like well if I'm not getting this now there's no way that I'm gonna understand this next concept and the next one and then be able to put all this together and take a final and pass it so I basically emailed my counselor and I was like hey, like, is there any way I can withdraw from this class? Like, I just can't have this grade on my transcript because it'll bring down my GPA and then it will just ruin my chances of getting into nursing school. And I mean, obviously it wouldn't have ruined my chances. Like I could have just retaken anatomy and physiology too and just worked really super hard and, you know, fixed my grade that way. But honestly, guys, like I just felt deep down, I just felt like that was, that me failing that class was honestly my sign that maybe nursing wasn't for me because I was honestly having doubts I think this past year we've all seen, well, I mean, obviously we all know healthcare workers are important and they're so valued and so essential to the community. But I feel like in this past year, we've really seen how healthcare workers literally sacrifice themselves to take care of others. And with the pandemic and stuff like that, like I just started seeing nursing in a different way. Not saying that that's why like I didn't want to do that, but I'm just saying like it was really like an eye opening because I think that when I decided I first wanted to do nursing a couple years, like when I was um, a junior in high school, like I, it's gonna sound cringy, but I think I was thinking about it like in the aesthetic way, like, oh, I get to be a nurse and wear like cute scrubs and take care of people. And don't get me wrong, like I could totally still do nursing, but I would just have to force myself. But for a career like that, that you have to like really want to do it to like love it to be a good nurse, you know what I'm saying? Like you just have to have that passion deep down. And I mean, I could make that passion for myself but I didn't I was losing the passion for it deep down and I don't know if it was because I was like it's different when you're doing classes for a major or like a job um instead of like actually like doing the job you know what I'm saying like maybe if I was having like hands-on like nursing training while I was doing my prerequisites I still would have been passionate about it but I just was starting to think that maybe nursing isn't for me like if I can't remember how blood flows through the body or how the heart pumps out blood then like how am I going to be a good nurse you know I was kind of thinking along those lines which I mean obviously that's very pessimistic and obviously if I applied myself harder I could have understood those concepts but it just I don't know I think it was just also too because it wasn't coming natural to me and like as I said earlier I'm like kind of a perfectionist when it comes to school 
that's where it was kind of getting like really muddy for me and really weird and I was just feeling really discouraged and honestly though I think a big part of it was the pandemic and the fact that basically I was teaching myself all this stuff I had no kind of class time I reached out, reach out to my professor reach out to the other person in my class never really got the help that I needed and I don't know it's just I was just like I think this is my sign that nursing's just not for me which could sound dramatic but that's the honest truth about why I didn't do that so yeah I'm sorry that was like complicated I kind of told like eight different stories within that story but that's what that is why I started making the action to change my major uh no I've gotten so many dms about people asking me like hey how are you going to pursue nursing like how like what is your classes you're taking are you kind of following like a guide or whatever like how are you structuring your pre-nursing classes and I know a lot of you guys follow me for that reason so I just felt like I owed it to you guys to tell you why I'm changing my major and a big reason why I wanted to save this video for when I was ready to film it is because I do not want to seem like I'm coming off as trying to persuade people to not do nursing because in this world, as we've seen, nurses are so, 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 so essential and important. I feel like because when you're in high school and you're like 18 and you're like, oh my God, what do I want to do with my life? Like, you know, you just like look for things and you try to like kind of make a passion for yourself. And I was one of those people who was like, I was like, I can't go to college undecided. Like, I just can't, I couldn't do that for myself. Like, I need to have a plan. I need to have a set goal, aspiration, blah, blah, blah. Like, when it comes to education, I'm one of those people who's like really hard on themselves. So I don't want to say that I chose nursing just to choose it, but like I was passionate about taking care of people. And the way, the way that I'm going to be in the healthcare field now is because I have a passion for taking care of people. So it's not like I'm not going to be helping people anymore. It's not like I'm not going to be in like psychology. I'm still working toward the same job essentially. It's just going to be a little different. All right. So I did post at like 1am this morning, something on my Instagram story. I'll put it over here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, please, because that's where I update people most frequently. And I just like post things that I like on there. So make sure you follow me on there. But I made one of those like little question posts. And I was like, hey, if any of you guys have any questions for me about my major, my college plans, transfer questions, etc., leave them here and I'll answer them in this video. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to just go ahead and answer these questions. The first question is, what's your planning to major right now? I think Maybe she meant what major you're planning to do right now. So I'm changing my major to psychology. I'm still at community college. So basically the one good thing about me changing it to psychology was that most of the prerequisites that you needed for nursing, I could switch over to psychology. I just have to take a couple more psychology classes and like another math class for the school I want to transfer to next year. Or one of them, I mean. Um, so luckily it was pretty seamless transferring my major, like changing my major at the community college level. So that was really good for me. Um, and I'm really lucky that it was able to do that so seamlessly because I know some people who change their majors like they have to completely start over with their prerequisites and like I my heart goes out to them because I just can't imagine having to like kind of start over Um, the next question. What are the biggest questions you ask yourself before before transferring majors? That's actually a really good question. Basically. I just literally asked myself. I was like Samantha like do you want to be a nurse? Like can you see yourself being a nurse? um can you see yourself in the hospital? Can you see yourself, like, you know, helping with COVID patients? Because, I mean, COVID's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, can you see yourself, like, I was just trying to really just imagine myself as a nurse, and I just couldn't see it anymore, like I used to be able to, like, two years ago when I graduated high school. So those are the kind of questions I asked myself, and I asked myself, like, what are things that I'm naturally passionate about? And I was, like, thinking psychology, like, fashion, like, content creation, like, all that stuff. But personally, I didn't want to go to school for, like, um, like social media or anything like that. That just wasn't for me. I wanted to have like a more, I don't want to say stable major, but like, I mean, if the internet crashes tomorrow, like, you know, if I had a ma major in like social media marketing, like, you know, it's just kind of like one of those things for me. But if y'all study that, like go off, period, poo, period, queen, I'm bowing on you. Love that for you. But yeah, for me personally, I did want to stay in the medical field because it's just like, we're always going to need people in medicine. We're always going to need healthcare professionals, no matter what role, if you're like a receptionist or a doctor or like whatever, like you're always going to be needed because we're always going to have hospitals because people are always going to be sick and need healing and help. So 
those are kind of the questions I asked myself before I changed my major. Another question said transfer process and how that works with community college. So basically, as I said earlier, I am a community college student and basically you just do two years, get your associates, and then you take that associates and you can transfer to any four year in the country, really. Um, the one I go to, since I do live in Maryland, they encourage you to like transfer to like Maryland schools. Um, so I will be applying to two Maryland schools. I'm going to be applying to Towson University, which is in Towson, Maryland, and University of Maryland College Park, which is like UMD. Um, those are the only two schools I'm applying to in Maryland, just because those are the only two schools I really like here. Uh, I'm also going to apply to NYU, New York University, because I just love New York City, and I feel like going to school there would be like the perfect little like two years that I go there meet people, go to school there. They also have a really good psychology program too, so that's really good. Um, and yeah, that's my one, but that's like my dream school, which somebody did ask me about my dream school question. Um, yeah, Nadia asked me that. Hi, Nadia. Um, yeah, so my dream school is NYU. Um, and that sounds really basic, but I just love how, because I think for me, like, I'm not really that deep in, like, the whole, like, traditional college experience. Like, I don't really care about, like, football games and, like, sororities and all that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, I could totally be a little sorority girl. Like, part of me knows I could definitely do that and, like, thrive. But I think for me, what's really cool about NYU is that it's, it's, like, it's a college, but it's in the city. So, like, it's a part of the city. It's not, like, separate from the city. And, I don't know, that just really speaks to me. And it would just... I would just meet so many people there. I would be able to have, like, things to do, places to go. And it would be easier for me to go to New York, like, for school than, like, me post-grad, like, going there and just, like, living there. And then that's it. Like, that's how, that, like, just moving there out of the blue sounds terrifying. But, like, moving there for school is, like, a safer. It makes me feel like I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's my dream school. But if that doesn't work out, I will be going to probably UMD. Um, and also because with Corona, like if I'm going to have to pay NYU tuition just to be sitting in an apartment or a dorm somewhere online, like, I don't know if that's really worth it for me. I could just stay in Maryland and go to school here and then just take trips to New York and like go visit or whatever. Um, depending on like how Corona is and everything like that. Somebody asked me, do you want your master's? Honestly, I don't know because with psychology, there's literally so many jobs that I can get. Um, but if I do stick with like the clinical psychology um, slash clinical psychologist career goal, I probably will get my master's just to have that extra, like, credential. Just to set myself apart from other psychologists, I'd probably get my master's. But honestly, though, I feel like nowadays, as long as you have your bachelor's, I feel like that can get you far enough to... But, I mean, it really just depends on how I'm feeling also because the way I'm, the route I'm taking now, I'm going to be done with school in two years. So, I mean, if, I've, if those two years are over and I'm like, okay, I want to get my master's, then I'll totally... I'm not opposed to doing it, but it just depends on how I'm feeling, how my YouTube channel is doing, like, I don't know, it's just really gonna depend. That's kind of more of like a later on question, but it's a good question still. Somebody asked me, how far along are you in your college career? Basically, I'm, right now, I'm in my sophomore year of college, technically. Like, if I was at a four year, I'd be a sophomore, but at my community college, I'm on my last semester of coursework there, so. Ari asked, was the transition easy? The transition, as in, like, changing my major was very easy. It was just, like, three clicks of a button. It was super simple, and my counselor really helped me a lot, which, shout out to my counselors, because y'all really helped me so much. Like, counselors are the GOAT. As for the transition between, like, community college and, like, a four-year school, I have no idea how that's going to go. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty seamless, especially if I do stay in-state. I hope it'll be really easy, because a lot of people do it, but... I don't know, you guys will just have to subscribe to me and wait and see because I definitely will be vlogging it because I feel like there's also not a lot of, like, community college content on YouTube. I don't know. Because I always, like, whenever I do stuff, I always look it up before I do it. And, like, when I was seeing my going to community college, I looked up, like, community college, day in the life. And, like, I never set, found any. So that's why I'm going to make it for you guys so you guys have something to watch. My friend Maya asked, will that make it longer to transfer? So luckily, as I was saying earlier, since I went from nursing to psych and they're both kind of, like, medical kind of things um a lot of my classes transferred over so i'm just gonna have to take three classes this semester and i'll be good to go and yeah those were all the questions so i hope that um i answered all of your guys's questions today not just those ones but like the ones that you guys have had who i didn't respond to the instagram story or anything like that or didn't see it um make sure you guys follow me on instagram so you guys can see you know more stuff from me and make sure you also subscribe i'm sorry this video was so chaotic i i'm gonna have to edit this a lot like i'm gonna have to sit down and really crack down on this editing and i've also been holding this coffee for like nine minutes so i don't know why i do that <laughs> but yeah guys i feel like i finally like got that off my chest and i feel like 
like relaxed now but yeah i just want to say again that i'm not trying to offend anybody or discourage anybody from pursuing their dreams slash nursing dreams but i just wanted to share what happened to me because i always knew that people changed their majors but like i never thought i was gonna be one of those people and like now that i am one of those people i'm just like you know it just it's just whatever like it's not that serious you know like when i first decided i was gonna change my major i literally was having like an identity crisis and i was like kind of down bad for a week and then i was just really thinking about it and i was like you know what like it's really not even that deep so yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you have any other questions about community college about nursing about psychology comment them down below i would love to talk to you guys in the comments it's like one of my favorite parts of doing youtube is just being able to talk to you guys and, like meet new people that otherwise i would never meet in my lifetime so yeah, guys, I hope you have a great, fantastic rest of your day, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.